Hello and welcome to episode 12 of the Bowman Color Team Sets, where we take a look at the cards that comprise each team in the Bowman set and see what they were up to during the 1953 season. Today we're going to be taking a look at Nellie Fox, Billy Pierce, Minnie Minoso, and the 53 Chicago White Sox. And to guide us through the 53 season, we have none other than the infamous YouTuber and White Sox fan, Mark, a.k.a. Stofe. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the cards themselves. Okay, so first up we've got Nelly Fox, known for his wad of chew jammed into his cheek in just about every baseball card. Uh, this case is a little scratched up, but really classic card of Mr. Nelson Fox. Dig the pants. Next up, dare I say, an iconic card of Minnie Minoso, who in 1953 had a 313 batting average with 15 homers and 104 RBIs. Next up is Paul Richardson, who's got his foot up so that we can check out his awesome stirrups. Manager of the uh, Chicago White Sox, he managed the team to an 89 and 65 record, which was good enough for third place in 53. Here's Lou Cretlow, who uh, among many players in the 53 sets served in World War II. He had a 348 ERA in 1953 before he was uh, traded to the Browns. Here's one of my absolute favorite cards in the entire set, Chico Carrasquel looking absolutely befuddled at the idea that he has to pretend to be manning the infield. He and the photographer were just not on the same page. One of the biggest cards in the White Sox team set here, Billy Pierce, a seven-time All-Star, a World Series champ in 1945, and eventually had his number retired by the White Sox. Here's Saul Rogovin, a pitcher who once hit a grand slam off of Eddie Lopat in 1950. Um, also kind of interesting, the guy had a sleeping disorder and uh, would sometimes be found passed out on the bench. Okay, here's Joe Dobson. He spent most of his career with the Red Sox and finished up uh, towards the end with, uh, with the White Sox. He later became a pitching coach for the Red Sox um, after he retired. Now this is one of my favorite, absolute favorite common cards in the set, Hector Rodriguez, showing off his sidearm from shortstop, which was a move that he perfected and taught a lot of other players too, as they were coming up into the majors. Just love this pose. Check out the stadium in the background too. All right, Sam Denny. In uh, 1949, which was his first season with the Washington Senators, there was a big parade, and somebody had a sign that said, we'll win plenty with Denny. That didn't really happen, but uh, here's Sherman Lawler. Next to Yogi Berra, this guy was one of the best catchers in the 1950s. He was a nine-time All-Star and a three-time Gold Glove recipient. And just for fun, I wanted to show off this postcard. Um, this is a postcard that was made by a company called Dormond, and it's of our good friend Chico Carrasquel. Here, he's not having to make a goofy pose fielding. He gets to do a batting pose. But you guys that have been on my channel for a while might remember I did some investigating into the Bowman photography and came across this set. It's a beautiful postcard set of different players from the 53 season. Um, that show off different poses from the same photo sessions. And so there you have it, the 1953 team set of the Chicago White Sox. Now let's turn it over to Stofe for a look at the White Sox of the early 1950s.
All right. So, Mark, thank you so much for for meeting with me to talk about this. I'm happy to be here. Very excited. Cool. cool. Um, yeah, I don't normally do this when I ask somebody to work on the project, but I'm having some trouble, like, coming up with something with the for the White Sox. Okay. Um, you know, like, usually what I do, I don't know if you've, if you've watched, have you watched any of them? Baseball cards, right? The baseball card videos, the 53. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You don't mind if I have a snack while we do this to you? No, not at all. Not at all. I'm starving. I missed dinner, so I'm just trying to get caught up. No, I totally get it. There really isn't much going on in 53 for the White Sox. So I figured, you know what, instead of like hitting my head against the wall, I'll just ask Mark and see, you know, you're a White Sox fan. The White Sox, yeah, dude, the White Sox are my team. I mean, I'm White Sox fan through and through. I would never even consider – you know, rooting for another team at any point. Um, you got a Brewers shirt on, but I do. I do have a Brewers shirt, but it's laundry day, and this is actually um, is my wife's shirt. So oh, I got gotcha. you. She's a big baseball fan too. Huge baseball fan. Nice. Does she have a collection? Yeah, she kind of. She kind of just says my collection is her collection. Um, and she keeps saying – she keeps saying something about uh, I'm going to get half of them anyway someday. And I don't know if she's like, wants to make a trade with me or – Okay. So, I don't know. Like, do you have any, you have any ideas for what I can do with the White Sox? I'm not too familiar with the 53 Bowman set for the White Sox. Are they, are they in the set? Are there any cards? Yeah, there's some cards. Uh, so here's here's Minoso. Oh, you have them. There's also Nelly Fox. I really like. Uh, I think that card actually is notable for being the first card to feature a pair of Jenko jeans on it. Huh. Okay. I mean, that's something. Can I see it again? Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, come on. Look at that. Look at look at how wide. How wide those uh, pant legs are. That's true. So we gotta do something big. You gotta do something new, different. Yeah. Because yeah. you know? the cards themselves aren't gonna sell it. Nobody knows who Billy Pierce is. Nobody cares. People are gonna fall asleep if you just say he was pretty good, you know. So I think you just make up stories. Just make up stories um, about Billy Pierce. What's, what what would grab me? Assume that I'm not interested in watching the video at all, like even remotely. Um, maybe Billy Pierce, um, like, committed a fatality, like he hit somebody in the head with a baseball. Yeah, that's good. Um, I think even better would be he committed a fatality, like with his bare hands on a moving train and uh was going over a bridge over international waters so everyone saw him do it and he just he looked real crazy and nobody wanted to stand up to him and there was no police there so that'd be pretty good i think that's an improvement on the original idea what about with mini minoso um i think we need to come up with a more interesting story for this guy all right i'm just spitballing here yeah. How about there's an urban legend about that bat? He's from Cuba. And uh, he went on a murderous rampage. He killed all these, um, these anti-government rebels with the bat and in order to secure his freedom. And Fidel Castro was like, all right, dude. Listen, you're not supposed to be able to leave because the Cuban embargo. But if you kill five more guys and dump their bodies, you know, in the ocean or whatever, you can leave. Okay. And he's thinking, he's he's looking up, smiling, thinking about the 27 men that he killed in cold blood with a baseball bat. I, if I'm going to go along with this, I'd have to say this guy has definitely killed people. I mean, Look at this guy. 
That's a catcher. That's a uh... Sherman Lawler. Yeah. That name too, Sherman Lawler. Like if you took away the glove, this looks like a mug shot. So he definitely killed. Definitely. Okay. Um, but how did he kill? You know? Right. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's like interesting. It's definitely different, but um, we've never really, never really lied in any of the team set videos so far. Yeah. Well, that's why you haven't had a hit yet. It's a secret. Show me a channel that never lies, and I'll show you a channel not even worth watching. Um, all the big guys lie. Me, I lie all the time. I I mean, I got a video with like 2,000 views, so I have a little street cred in this regard, you know. Right, right. No, you're right. What else, what else should I be doing? What else should I be doing? You got to stop. You got to stop. Uh, showing so many cool cards um and you gotta stop giving so much accurate historical background um you gotta get to modern you gotta get you gotta start yelling that's that's a big thing you mean like just really getting loud yeah you gotta yell i mean uh i don't know what your setup is uh if you have you know a studio quality setup here like me but you know it's, see, I can't even, I can't really get it much louder because it's just, I'm just cranked up there already. I already went to 11, so to speak. I don't know, flash in stills, you know, one frame of like cleavage or something. Just like get, you know, or just like says the word sex really loud. Because um, it's just, it's not working. You know, what you're doing right now is not working, but. Should I be like prospecting? The fact that the fact that you have to even ask that question is a problem. Um, I got a little leftover Italian. You don't mind if I eat some more, do you? No. I'm absolutely starving. That's fine. That's fine. Some leftover Italian food. I think. I think you need to talk. If you're gonna stick with the, uh, you know, whatever the. 47 Bowman stuff or whatever you're doing. You got to like, you got to talk about flipping, you know, you got to talk about whatever those old guys, you know, Hank Aaron or whatever, be like, Oh, I bought this. Just lie. Just lie. Just say, just say you're at a card show and uh, you like punch some kid in the stomach and like, spit in his face and slap the dollar bill to his forehead. He bought it for a dollar. Okay. I don't know. Stuff like that. You know, people like that stuff. Nobody actually cares about baseball. I mean, come on. All right. So we've got this, we've got the serial killer idea. Um, it's, it's really kind of like a gang of serial killers. So it's, yeah. Like, Murder's Row. I think that was our nickname, Murder's Row. Should I should I like add reenactments? Like maybe I can find some people to like wear some White Sox uniforms and hit some people over the head with baseball bats and get some. Don't even there. reenact it. Like do it. Really do it. Yeah, really do it. Um, just pay someone to do it, and then you're just like, I don't know what happened, and then you just blur out faces, and next thing you know, you got 1,900 views. You know. With this set, because I don't, the vintage stuff doesn't really interest me or anybody. But um, the, um, or there, like, when did parallels start, you know? When did that all start? You mean like the rainbow stuff? Yeah, the rainbow stuff, yeah. Um, Do you just have, like, the base cards, probably? Yeah, because that's all that existed um, at the time. So <laughs> that's good. That's a good excuse. Yeah, it's it's all that existed. These are literally the best possible versions of these cards. None of them are numbered. None of them are gold. None of them have autos. Um, that's yeah. good. That's good. If I had to, I could maybe crack the case and like get some gold sharpies and 
color them, you know, would maybe create some parallels. That I think that's honestly, that's the best idea you've had so far. Well, we did it. That's it, right? I got some, I got some other stuff to do. It's basically uh, all you need, right? This is all 53! With some sweet card on action! I only have one request for this video. <laughs> My only request is that you put in at least one blooper. You you want autos. You got to get the autos, like the prospect autos. Um, I think. Yeah, by the way, um, when I was eating that fettuccine and I like almost choked, that was like real. I almost <laughs> choked on it. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> it broke <laughs> off and it like flung back. <laughs> like when did parallels start, you know? When did that all start? You mean like the rainbow stuff? Yeah, the rainbow stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's not working, you know? What you're doing right now is not working, but man, I'm really coming off as a <laughs> dude. <laughs> I just started with it and I just kept rolling. Uh, I, I really hope nobody takes it seriously because sometimes people, they comment that they think stuff I've done is serious. And I'm like, come well, on. The fact that this is going to be on my channel is going to be really confusing. So I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> that, that's, that's going to be so much fun. Yeah. <laughs>